This is the plaintiff, Vernon Hill. He says the defendant agreed to buy an English bulldog from him. She owes him $5,000, refuses to pay, and here they are. <laughs> That's right, this woman has his dog, she hasn't paid him, and he's here seeking every penny of it today in this court. This is the defendant, Christos Clark. She says she and the plaintiff used to be friends before all of this dog drama, and they made a puppy trade. That's right, she gave him a puppy from her litter in exchange for one of his bulldogs. A month later, the guy comes to her house, sticks his prosthetic leg in her door so she couldn't close it and demands money from her. Huh? Bottom line, she's square with the plaintiff and owes him nothing. She's accused of a dog-gone dilemma. The defendant has bought a candle suit for $2,500, the amount she's now owed for the puppy she gave the plaintiff. All parties, please use your right hand. Be seated, come to order, please. Litigants have been sworn, Your Honor. Thank you, Douglas. Good. All right, Mr. Hill. How you doing? You breed English Bulldogs? Yes, ma'am. And you breed? Shih Tzus. Shih Tzus, okay. How do you two know each other? She used to work for, uh, rent some space inside my barbershop on, okay. as a beautician. All right, so you find out her dog has had a litter and you decide that you want to buy a Shih Tzu for your girlfriend. Yes. And how much was she charging for the Shih Tzu? $400. Is that accurate? No. No. How much were you charging for the Shih Tzu? I posted them for 1000 Okay. And according to you, she was lowering the price for you or? Uh, not according to me. I, I have no idea. I asked her how much she want for the dog. She said $400. Okay. Now, do you go over there to pick up the Shih Tzu? No, she actually came to me. To deliver it? Yes. And then what happens? Um, she came to, to deliver the Shih Tzu. I was about to pay her. She said that her husband um, was coming home from vacation. Prison? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And he wanted an um, a English Bulldog, and I had puppies. I, I didn't know what she was going to take it then at that point. We, we was very cool, very close people. Were you? Yeah. Okay. So I, I brought it down with me to the car. Okay. And I showed her the dog, and then she said, you know, this would be a nice dog for him. Um, I said, all right, well, we could work something out. You know, I'm, I've been doing business with her. I said, we could work something so out. So what was the something you guys worked out? It was, I was going to take $1,000 for the dog, which was going to be 400 from her dog, plus two installments of 300 I didn't expect her to pay me 300 that day, but she actually cashed at me $300 that day. Okay, and what else? And also for us to co-own it and for me to breed it and then split the litter in half. That's a very complicated agreement. Was any of that in writing? Actually, it wasn't. Okay. But Watch I this. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. Was that the agreement? No. Oh. Not, not in full. No? And also... What the was puppy, the agreement in full? First of all, just to go back a little bit, we had a brother-sister relationship. He cuts my children's hair. He now does it out of his home due to him being a poor businessman and losing his shop, one of four that he's okay, lost. Okay, I really don't care about that. Can you tell me what the deal was between you two? The deal was that I told him to, if he gave me the puppy, I would, he, at least he knew, would know the puppy would be in a good home and then we could work on if she had babies in the future. We what don't want- we could work on if she had babies Those mean? were the words verbatim. Yeah, but what did you mean? So if I decided to breed the puppy, that he would get a puppy. A that puppy? Was the, yes, that was and the And then what, how much were you gonna be paying for the English Bulldog? He said that he needed, he wanted $1,000 for the dog. And I said, I don't have $1,000. I wanted $1,000 for my dog. Right. So he said, I need at least six. I said, I don't have six. I, I have three. And he said, I'll take that. And then your understanding was that that was that? Pretty much. And then his understanding was that you still owe him three. Right. And then he goes to your house. And what happens? Well, in between that time, he asked me twice out to go to dinner with him. Mm. I denied. Okay text messages or he should have them. Okay. Anyway, he texts me talking about, um, can I, when I, I need the other payment. Okay. And, and uh, so wait, I'd like to see the text between the two of you regarding the other payment. Do you have, you have them? Do I you have them? Oh uh, yeah. All right, let me see him. And do you have them? Yes. Show me text between the two of you before you go over there and stick apparently a prosthetic okay. leg in the door? Yes. What? Okay. Do I don't you have see a prosthetic? How that yes. I don't see how you can stick a prosthetic leg. Do in you the have door. a prosthetic yes, leg? Okay. <laughs> He stuck Were you his sweet body on her? in my door. Did you ask her out? Were you sweet on her? No. 
Did you ask her out? Oh my God, no. how cute. The what is this? I asked if she wanted to get something this? to eat. This highlight, that's the bully. Oh my goodness. I asked if she wanted to get something to eat because I was used to feeding her and her children. <laughs> you were used You've to never feeding fed me and her my children. and her children? Please. Yes. Please. Never. I don't think that looks like a request for a date. I read the first one. On October 25th, I see him saying, hey, sis, I hate to be annoying, but I really need that other payment. To which you do not respond, what are you talking about? There is no other payment. I don't know you anything. To which you actually respond, OK, it would probably be next week, because I got to get all my bills out of the way this week. That's what you say. So you know mm -hmm. there's another payment. You show up at her place, and what happens? When I went to her place, um, I arrived there, and I asked, I said, well, listen, what's going on with the door? She said, you know, she was going through some things and she made some business decisions and she don't have the money right now. I said, well, when are you going to have it? She said, honestly, I don't know. When I get it, you'll get it. I said, well, that ain't going to work for me. I said, if you can't pay for the dog, because now I'm thinking about the future, the, the breeding rights, the splitting the litter, and everything that goes along with us. You know, all that stuff you should have had in writing? Yeah. Mm -hmm. the, the text I gave you shows the agreement where she spoke about it shows splitting you the litter. That. Hold on. It spoke, in that text, she talks about splitting the litter, and she also talks about the $600 plus the $400 in that text that she wrote. And she agreed to split the litter. What did you mean when you said, regardless of you wanting to split the puppies? And how are you going to value what the value of a future litter is? How do you come up with $4,700? Because on average, one puppy is averaged at six, seven $7,000. I'm not going to just get your... <clears throat> you, I, I, I brought, I brought. And, ha and on average, how many puppies are we talking about? So every I, I single use, litter is 36000 You know, come on. Don't I be ridiculous. The, the smallest litter I've ever had was, I believe, six puppies. And you, so you made thirty six grand on that one? No, because sometimes you keep a puppy, a puppy may die. You may keep a puppy. So you then sit. how is it that you're figuring <clears throat> that the amount of future litters is going to net you $4,700? You know how because speculative? Do you understand how speculative that is? If, if you look at the price of English Bulldogs, that's the price of a cheap one. The price of, a, the, price of the Merle English Bulldogs could range from fifteen dollars to $32,000. Why this are you saying that all, all you agreed to was for him to have one dog from that litter? I, we didn't specifically agree on a litter, period. Well, yeah, I can see from your text that you okay. agreed on we doing something. We talked about her having puppies. Right, but and I, what? Like, you know, that something was the agreement. What there is were, your version of what the agreement is? There were never any numbers, is? like three or five. We didn't describe, we didn't specifically say a number. Well, you claim that it was that he'd get one puppy. That's what you said not six minutes ago you said that. Okay. Yes or no, did you say that? To him? No, to me in this courtroom. I did say it to you. All right, and then I'm reading a text where it says, blah, 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 regardless of splitting the puppies, mm -hmm. which is a different deal than the one you say. Okay. So we never agreed on a number of puppies or splitting puppies. The dogs are not full bred, so you can't put an amount on a puppy that's not even a full bred dog. They're not registered dogs. I have paperwork for my dogs. He has no paperwork for his. Do you not have paperwork for that Yes, dog? I do, ma'am. Did you give it to her? No, I didn't have time to. She, I, I had gave paperwork her, I gave for her my dog. puppy. She drove away that day, and we never finished doing anything. Jesus. I have no idea what this woman is talking about. Welcome back to the People's Court. Harvey Levin here. Who knows something about bulldogs here? Yes. You do? Yes. What do you know about bulldogs? Uh, bulldogs are, uh, the French bulldogs are the smaller, the English bulldogs are bigger. So are bulldogs generally, do they have health issues more so than other dogs? Yes, they do. The breathing issue. Breathing issue. Right, yeah. And they don't live as long as other dogs do. So it's tough, huh? Yeah, yes, it is. Interesting, but they're so cute. They are. A beautiful dog. So beautiful. Going inside the courtroom. You um, are under the impression that you can come to court and get this complicated contract that you're telling me about with, with future litters and... It's, and have it assessed and have zero evidence of anything that you're saying. Just because you walk in here and claim every, every puppy costs six grand, so I just put five grand in that lady's pocket by selling it to her for a thousand. You see how maybe that doesn't sound believable? You say she still owes you 300, and I believe she still owes you 300 based on her text to you. So for sure she owes you 300. How else are we gonna resolve your problem here? Oh, by the way, while you're thinking about that, you let that marinate in that head of yours right now. And let me ask you, how do you figure I'm going to make him pay you $2,500 for a shih tzu that you sold him for $400? The agreement was that I, I gave him the shih tzu for $400 due to the relationship that we had. And now that you don't, also, you're going to change the contract? 
So on what legal premise are you entitled to make a $400 purchase the, a $2,900? The exchange was for a full-bred English bulldog. The dog that he gave me was not that. He gave me a says mix. Says who? What says the breeder? Who? Says who? The breeder that bred the dog. The father. The the father is American bulldog. Not English. Which is why the dog looks more like a pit bull than a bulldog. Man, this one does look like a. Yeah. You want you want to return the dog? Sh or now you bonded? I, yeah, I do love her. Yeah. I don't know where she. I have texts from Let me see today. the paperwork on the dog. I so think I, all I bought was the immunization. The ap actual application for the dog, for the licensing, has been sent out. You know what? You people all deserve each other. If this is how you do business, you just, here's a dog, take a dog, eh, we'll see what happens later, then that's what you're stuck with, okay? I did On your counterclaim it. against him for, because you want to change the terms of the agreement. Oh, and by the way, unless you're willing to return the dog and get your money back, which I don't think you are from what we just talked about, then no. And on your claim against her for future litters, no, it's too speculative. I have no idea what that would be worth or if it'd be worth anything. But I do know, based on your text, that you owe this man $300, $300 verdict for the plaintiff. Wait, wait for it. I did. So you two are carrying on an argument here. What, what are you yeah. telling me? You can send your husband to see him? Yes. What for? because he's an ugly person. He abused the friendship that I treated him very well. I've loaned him money several times. Yeah. I've saved him <laughs> several times. And, you know, I suffer for it, but it is what it is. Well, it didn't work out in court for you today. No, you got to give him 300 bucks. That's why. OK. Mm -hmm. you, you just didn't have enough evidence to prove your case. You win some, you lose. I think it was a little unfair, but you win some, you lose some. Well, this one you lost. Yeah. Sorry about that. Thank you. All right, good luck to you next time. Thank you. <laughs> All right, the plaintiff, Mr. Hill, is on his way out of the courtroom. Mr. Hill, you don't get $5,000, but you get 300 bucks. How about that? I'm disgusted. I spent more than $300 for a pizza for her kids when they were sleeping on my barbershop floor. You get what I'm saying? I sold her a good dog. I had a good deal, and she just decided to be disgusting about it. She's simply used to people just catering to her and doing what she wants. She thinks she's attractive. She have a million kids, but every father is different. And now it's time for her to be exposed. Now she stole a dog. Well, you, you know, you didn't have enough evidence to prove your case to the judge. You were friends. I gather was, that's it, over it, now. It, it, Is that was, right? It was evidence there. It was evidence that she agreed to the money, that she agreed well, to the contract. Uh, it didn't work for the judge. It didn't work for the judge. And, okay. and, that, and that just didn't happen. And, and sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. Okay. Calm is different. Well, you got a little bit. All right, thank 300 you. 300 bucks. Thank you very much. Day. Okay. All right, Harvey. <laughs> So look, I mean, I, I, I don't wanna like impose my views on everything, but I do wanna say something, that if you're really in the market for a dog, you know, uh, purebreds are great, but there ain't nothing like a rescue because they never forget that you saved them. And I am telling you, as long as they live, they will always remember.